Picture retakes, voter registration, and field hockey. All that and more on today's RHS Morning Show. Go Ridley! Good morning, Ridley. I'm Regan, and joining me today is Zach. Today is Thursday, October 17th, 2024, and we're on the green schedule. Picture retakes will take place throughout the day today. A canvas message was sent out earlier in the week for students to select a specific time slot. Only students that have signed up in advance will have their picture taken today. This upcoming Monday, October 21st, is the deadline to register to vote in the 2024 general election at the RHS Library has photo some registration materials available for students who will be 18 on November 5th. Students are invited to stop by the library to pick up a photo registration application or to scan the QR code for the online application if you have a Pennsylvania's driver's license. You can register to vote online, but you have until Monday. Ridley Field Hockey defeated Springfield on Monday 2-0. Hannah De DeFilippo and Allie Decker each put a ball in the back of the net. Decker and Sam Fleming provided the assist. Elise Martin earned the shutout with two saves in the net. And now to Zane on the Symphony of the Seas for today's lunch. I'm Zane Hendler on the Symphony of the Seas cruise ship and today on the tray is the mac and cheese bar. Enjoy your lunch, Ridley. We'd like to thank you for watching the LHS Mountain Show. It's educational television. It's educational because we're learning. Have a good day, Woodley. This is Miss Pickett, the librarian here at Ridley High School. And today I'm featuring one of the books nominated for the Pennsylvania Reader's Choice Award in the teen category, The Blood Years by Elena K. Arnold. The Blood Years follows the teenage years of Frederica Teitler in her hometown of Chernowitz, Romania from 1939 to 1945. Rika lives with her single mother and her headstrong older sister, Astra, until her beloved grandfather, Opa, brings them to his apartment. It is the first of many times that Opa will shield Rika from life's cruelties. When the book begins, Rika is really a typical 13-year-old attending school and dance classes with Astra, but she experiences the stripping away of Jewish people's rights as she moves through her teen years and World War II progresses. Her situation changes dramatically as first the Russians and then the Germans occupy her city, and as her persistent cough leads to a very serious diagnosis. As circumstances in Chernowitz worsen for Jews, Opa's ability to shelter his girls is pushed to the limit. This book is based on real events from the life of the author's own grandmother. It's really a riveting, unforgettable historical fiction novel that readers will love. So if this book sounds interesting to you, stop by the library to check out The Blood Years. <laughs> 